Oh, here we have the uh, pizzazz oven. It looks yes, like you are correct. Is it being prepped to cook? Yeah, this is uh, this is actually me placing on some toaster strudels. You know, the other week I was talking to the Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh, you were. Yeah, he he actually mentioned to me that the pizzazz pizza oven is one of the more underutilized cooking devices. For oh. I completely agree with you. I brought uh, the box with me. Oh, really? And we have instructions here. And as you can see, it's really just a toaster that's being used. Set toaster or toaster oven on low to medium setting. Okay, okay. Toast frozen pastry one to two cycles or until hot and golden brown. Uh, these don't go into a regular toaster. Can you explain the functionality of this pizzazz pizza oven that we're witnessing in front of us here? I'd be happy to. You see, the toaster and the Pizzazz Pizza Oven do operate through similar heating uh, modes, I guess you could say. Okay. Right, like in both cases, there is that glowing red coil uh, directly above the toaster strudel in this case. I don't see any evidence yet of that. You know, maybe it'll come later. Do you see any red glowing? Well, I've looked under there in the past. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah, this isn't my first. Uh, Go around, if you will, with the pizzazz pizza oven. Got it. Got oh, it. Oh yeah, I'm a. I had a pizzazz pizza oven in college. And oh, you did. So you're well versed in in these in these things. I'm a pizzazz veteran, you could say. Nice. Yes. yes. So, anyways, that's <clears throat> radiative heating. Oh, okay. Right, and so that that's the same heating mode that's inside those glowing coils of the toaster, right? Yeah, I I think you're absolutely correct on that. Now, what I like about the pizzazz that really is not something you could do with the toasters. You can actually really see the cooking happening in real oh, time. Oh, right in front of you. You're absolutely correct. And there's like a different, there's a different smell, wouldn't you say? Like it's, it's a nicer smell than, than a toaster. Like a toaster has got like oh. that accumulation of, you know, old, old burnt crumbs. Hopefully just crumbs, right? Like just all sorts of old stuff in there. You know, and that's burning. And so when you're toasting, you're, you're smelling like stale, burned stuff versus uh, the pizzazz gives you a nice clean surface. It does, you know, and we put we put aluminum foil on there each time, so. Yeah, that really does help protect. I think that does help too. Yeah, I think that's doing a great uh, job. Yeah, so I don't know if, I don't know if I'm seeing this correctly, but I, I think I'm starting to see a glow under, uh, like reflecting off the foil there, that reddish glow. I, I would say, I was about to say the exact same thing. So oh, yes, perfect. I agree with you. 100%. You can actually see now the glowing coil reflected from the aluminum. I didn't expect that, did you? I don't know. I sort of thought it might appear because it, it does cook things to a pretty warm temperature. Now, the setting on this, is this at the dual? It is at the dual. Oh, that's what makes the Pizzazz Plus. Oh, are you telling me that the Pizzazz Original just has an upper and not a lower? It may be, yeah. Ah. Right? But So we're, we're actually heating from both sides here, just like a toaster would, right? Yeah. Okay. This is a lot more fun. Visual, visually stimulating, as they would say. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, would you like to know anything about uh, toaster strudels themselves? Well, you... The first thing, which, which flavor are we uh, cooking here? Oh, right now? This would be, oh, I believe this is the strawberry. Okay. Or is it the apple? You know, it could be the apple. it is the apple this is the apple box but this could be the apple uh, toaster strudels um, yeah I don't know I I ate these things when I was a kid yeah did you have these not the apple no I was wondering I was thinking you know how would you say the flavor of this compares to I don't know a McDonald's apple turnover uh, I much prefer the toaster strudel okay but that's just me is it the the, the freshness of it, or is it just the, the flakiness? freshness? It's also real flaky. Uh, I ate one of these this morning earlier okay. before I cooked these up. Yeah, um, very flanky, flaky. <laughs> it's not like a steak. Huh? It's not no, like a flank not steak. a flank steak. Although that does sound delicious too. Steak and strudel for breakfast. Could we cook a steak on this thing? I don't see why not. I mean, hmm. it would be similar to broiling in the oven, would it not? Yeah, that's true. Hmm. That would be a steak with pizzazz. Yeah. Now we have something to think about for next week. Um, 
But yeah, it went over pretty well. Did you know these come out of Minneapolis? Really? Well, you know, I went to school up there, and I was familiar with uh, General Mills, oh. which is where their headquarters is. Oh, I, I see. I actually used to work with a uh, food scientist from General Mills. Oh, you did? Yeah, I used to work in the chemistry labs, and uh, oh. he worked there. Um, and so, yeah, he used to tell me all about uh, how they would design their products, and uh, it was it was quite technical. Sounds awesome. Yeah, I had a professor once tell the class about um, investigating the fluid dynamics of Twinkie filling. Twinkie filling? Yeah, well, you got to pump that, right? Oh, yeah. And so somebody's got to know, like, the flow characteristics of that Twinkie That's filling. That's true. So, yeah. Twinkie engineers. Yes, you could say. It's it's not a lot of fluff. It's pretty <laughs> pretty heavy uh, stuff I like there. That. Yeah. So, I mean, the engineering that must have gone into these toaster strudels. Is, oh, phenomenal unreal so yeah. how do you think they're doing they're getting there i mean you can see they're browning up nicely at this point yeah i can see that oh it sounds like and it looks like i'm uh getting some paper towels ready to distribute these oh, things oh was that a, a turn off there is that what no that was? no it dings when it turns off that's for sure oh okay you must have just been grabbing something off the shelf there probably got it got it wow. okay Look at that, the morning sun reflecting off those things. It, gosh, it Beautiful. just really makes you happy to, to we be should alive send this, and awake. Oh, yeah. it totally does, but I, I'm thinking we should send this footage to General Mills. We could sell it. You think General Mills could use this? I think so. I mean, if, uh, yeah. They could put in a, a toaster uh, or a Pillsbury Doughboy in the background, maybe. You oh, know? they definitely could. Watching. Right, like, or, or doing like rubbing his tummy the whole time. <laughs> that would be right. Starting and, to and drool over these things. They they look delicious. I don't know Pillsbury Doughboy drooling. I'm not sure about that one, but yeah, that's true. But I, I could see him going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and then then we could maybe film it again, and you could poke him in the belly. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I dressed up as the Pillsbury Doughboy one year for Halloween. Really? Yeah. Should see if I could find any of those photos. Did it look a lot like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? Yes, it actually did, and I was confused by that by some, which is fine with me because the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is just as cool. At least as cool as the Pillsbury Doughboy, yeah. Yeah, that's Def true. Definitely the first time you see Ghostbusters, an unexpected, spoiler alert, unexpected, <laughs> right? <laughs> unexpected appearance, that's for sure. Definitely, definitely. Look at that one. Oh, oh. those, don't those look great? They look so warm and fresh and flaky and I bet I bet it's a bit gooey on the inside now you're gonna put icing on that right oh yeah I'll let uh, I'll let each person individually put their own on I don't want to some people like to drop hat oh, oh I think I just heard a bell I heard a ding what do you let's see oh you're oh. going for more paper towel yeah it looks like it well the heat's off at this point correct yeah but oh, I do think oh, there's oh, some oh there I am and the tongs good form Look at that form with the tongs. You didn't even break the crust. When no, you grabbed no, I did a, not. So. A very skillful tong grip. Well, I'm sure your students will enjoy those toaster Oh, strudels. I'm sure they will. And uh, as always, Mr. Shantz, it's been a pleasure. Have pleasure a great day. Pleasure working with you. You too. All right.